Hello everyone, I am RTS Man, and today, continuing on with the uh, CSA, or the, no, sorry, not CSA, I'm confused, the USA playthrough of uh, Grand Tactician Civil War. Okay, so, quick recap. Uh, unfortunately, I was not able, we had a second battle at uh, Aqua Landing, which unfortunately I lost the footage for, and so was not able to, so... It was a it was a tough fight turned into ultimately what I would consider a Pyrrhic victory for the Rebs, as you can see. Uh, pretty substantial casualties for them to uh, take uh, to beat the army of northeastern Virginia, and all told, the army of northeastern Virginia is currently uh, withdrawing. The army of Washington is uh, gathering strength. Unfortunately, it. In the fighting at Fredericksburg, we did lose, as you can see, three good officers, and there's really not a whole lot that we can... we just have to manage that at this point. So, that's an unfortunate thing we have to deal with. The Department of Pennsylvania has currently taken uh, Winchester, Virginia, and is hanging tight, waiting to uh, move on. As And the uh, West Virginia Militia is currently sitting at Charleston. Uh capturing that. The Army of Occupation is involved in a small skirmish with the uh, Army of the Northwest, which has been going on for about a month now. I don't know what what's taking uh, McClellan so long to beat them, but apparently it's taking him a long time and it's really difficult for him. I don't know why. Let's see. Ah, yes, and we've got uh, Fremont's Army of the Mississippi moving... Uh, are getting ready to move on Nashville. At the moment, they're just hanging tight at Bowling Green, trying to uh, gather themselves together to march on Nashville. So, let's get going. Also, um, can't really figure out why, but you might remember from the first video that uh, several uh, men, several brigades from Cadwalder's division were armed with uh, hall rifles. And for some reason, we don't have any hall rifles anymore. I don't know what happened to those. I can't order them. They're not showing up here anymore. They're just not here. Uh, I, I honestly have no clue why they're not here. They just aren't. Hopefully Hooker is ready before the enemy decides to advance, but I wouldn't count on it. Oh, now they're moving to Winchester. Yeah, how is, uh, Patterson's not looking too good. But then the army of, uh, the Shenandoah took quite a few, quite a, took quite a few casualties fighting, uh, fighting the army in northeastern Virginia. Oh, what? What the fuck? Hold on. Hold on. The Army of Occupation is retreating. What does it say about that battle? Find me the battle. McClellan, you fucking idiot. How? Oh my god. I need to fire McClellan. How do you fuck up? You outnumbered them six to one. How do you lose a fight? Where you outnumber the enemy six to one. Oh my god. I knew McClellan was incompetent. This is just a whole nother level of failure. Okay. Well, here we go. Alright, at least we're breaking off the seventh under McBride. Yeah, that's, uh. Yeah, I expected that. I guess so. Ah, yes, the Hampton Division is retreating. Oh, that's good. That'll, uh, boost the spirits of the Army of Washington. Aha! Now, here's a proper battle. Hulk was a decent officer, as I remember. We'll see how this goes. Okay, Murfreesboro Pike. Ooh, this is a good one. That's a really good defensive position there. We have, uh, let's take a look. Just so you can see what I'm talking about. So, as you can see, 
this is the most likely avenue for the enemy to come by, the railroad or this footbridge here, or one of these footbridges. But it's all on a, uh, you know, there's all there's an elevation here, so we're going to be firing down onto a choke point. It's going to be a very, very easily defensible position. And the best part is, uh, this river here, the Stones River, is quite a wide one, so they're not going to be able to ford this. They're going to have to go across the bridges. Oh, what the fuck? I did not expect that at all. Um, oh shit. Okay, I certainly did not expect them to be coming uh, from over here. Yeah, let's get all the infantry building this wall and real, real fucking quick. Oh, hold on, we have to deploy someone to, uh... Let's send Sumner to cover off Walton. At the double quick, just hold him back while the rest of them build the wall. Although what this does do is... allow us to move the other uh, brigades into a better fighting position. Now that we know for certain there is no way the enemy's coming from uh, the other side. Good thing it's late in the day, because if this were, you know, early morning, we'd have to fight the entire battle like this. And that's not something I'm eager to do at present. We don't have any sort of preparations for this uh, sort of defense. Oh, shit. That's a lot of them. So Walton's engaged Sumner. Where is Pope? Pope hasn't even gotten the orders yet to move out. Casualties are good for now. We just need to buy time for the others to build the wall. Alright, good. We're pushing them back. We're pushing them back. But this is clearly not their main attack. They're just trying to bide their time. They're uh, just trying to reorganize for a proper offensive. We happen to get caught in the middle of it. Let's move Pope around the side. This has turned into a, a real brawl at this point, hasn't it? Oh, the casualties are looking really in our favor, actually. I think we just got lucky with the positioning, actually. Or they're being overly aggressive. Okay, it's the end of day, thank god. Okay, we needed that. <laughs> oh, and as usual, the uh, nighttime skirmishing always fucks us over for some reason. Do we have a good position for the artillery, or is it just all firing uh, straight into the... Actually, no, that's a decent position. So let's make sure Kearney and Sumner are on the uh, flanks. The worst part is, the worst of the fighting is going to be dead ahead. And I want to make sure that uh, we don't have anyone who's already demoralized before the, a bit demoralized before the fighting even starts. So we've dug in, we've got a pretty strong uh, center point there. <coughs> that the enemy is going to have to face. Uh, we got two... Uh, wings of Kearney and Sumner that we can uh, move as needed to encircle the enemy. We're moving that artillery very close in. I mean, if you ask me, artillery is pretty valuable, so I wouldn't risk it even, uh, even if that's the only way you can get fire from it. Okay, here comes Holmes. He's sending out some skirmishers to engage us. How did their casualties go down? They were 900 a second ago. Here comes Anderson. Not doing anything. It feels like they're trying to bait us out of cover. Which would make sense. I, I still want to know why their casualties decreased. Uh, you know, uh, do the, does the Confederacy have necromancy? What if we tried... Let's move Hazen around there. I'll just send one uh, battery, just in case this backfires horribly. Send him over here, actually. Give him a much clearer shot of the of the enemy. 
see what that does. And if that works, then we might just do that with the entire force. We do... I don't know. See, we hold the objective, so I don't want to uh, move any men out of that. We hold the objective, we have cover, so I don't want to move any men out of that really strong position that we've got. But it's also pretty clear that all we're doing here is just taking more casualties. Without actually gaining anything. Oh, apparently we've brought their casualties back up to 900. Okay, clearly Hazen is getting something done from his position. I don't really know what it is, but he's getting something done, it would seem. I wish I knew what these different types of ammunition were. Like, I, I imagine... Or which, which each of these was. Because I would imagine it's, uh... You know, uh, canister, uh, shell, and ball. But I don't know which is which. Let's see if that works well for Sharon. Our artillery seem to be doing quite good so far. It's funny, I was talking about how you don't want to risk artillery, they're too precious for that. And now I'm doing something even more risky than what the enemy was doing. Because at least like this, if I decide to attack their artillery, they've got a pretty substantial uh, force to protect them with. Alright, Sheridan is uh, there, he's got a firing solution on Walton, and is that Jones next to Walton? It really feels like they want to bait us out of cover, but I, I'm not gonna take, and I'm not gonna take the bait. Let's get Kearney and Pope out, out of the line, and uh, see what we can do. See what they can do. Uh, I'm taking the bait, aren't I? This is, this is gonna bite me in the ass. Uh, see, I don't know if that's just uh, normal paranoia and anxiety that's telling me that, or if it's actually my instincts that I'm just ignoring. Okay, so the artillery is doing pretty good work so far. Oh shit, Holmes is already firing on uh, Kearney. Pope is being engaged by McBride, looks like. Okay, you know what? Let's take advantage of this uh, opportunity while it's here. And engage Holmes in the side. Send Sweeney to engage Anderson, and there should be one other here. Okay, it'll send Sumner to engage Russell there. And Davis can go around and join Sheridan. Well, that went well. Sweeney engaged Reigns along with Hurlbut. We'll make Reigns break completely and then turn our attention towards uh, the other two over here whose names I can't read because they're covering each other up. I want to inflict as many casualties as possible, make this a an unrecoverable loss for the Confederacy. Oh wow, we're just firing into a massive cloud of officers. Maybe we'll hit one. Maybe we'll kill Polk. Alright then, I think that's uh, a good recovery after the defeat at uh, Winchester. The good thing is, it's pretty clear that uh, we're going to win. We're going to beat the Rebs on attrition at this point. I mean, every single, almost every single battle we've fought, they've taken up higher casualties in raw numbers than we have, and they don't have as many men to lose in the first place. I think I'm going to end this episode, so yeah, at that, uh, on that note, I think I'm going to end this episode here. 
Thank you everyone for watching. I am RTS Man, and have a good day.